who is it tonight? Who do we have tonight? Right oh, a gecko person. Is that a gecko? It's a gecko, yeah. It's gecko. gecko. Oh, look, I've never... Oh, look at your special feet. <laughs> oh, look, that's fantastic. So who is this? What is your lovely gecko's name? Um, he's called Tarn, which is fire in Welsh. It's what in Welsh? Welsh. 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 Welsh.
she is totally like that yeah, yeah which of yeah. course i didn't really realize i suppose yeah. um well we give her i mean she had live food yeah right yeah um okay And she wants to know when you're coming home. She does like to know when you're coming home because it feels like that's when you feed her. Or there's some, she's some moment where it's like, yippee, they've come home and now I'm gonna get fed. Does that make any sense to you? I can see um, by your faces. You it's feed not it big time. So I suppose in a way that's when Chad will settle into his room. Yes. He lives in, in, in Chad's bedroom. Right, and she's very agile, she's shown me, and she would really like, you've probably done this already, but the, I feel like I want a network of twigs and sticks, because I actually like to hang, hang upside down as well. Yeah. But the movement through the twigs is like, or branches, is like a squirrel, you know, being a squirrel and being denied branches. It would, because I'm, a, I feel like I'm a hunter, like a cat would love to climb and, you know, um, and, or, or at least a squirrel, certainly. And uh, she is the same. So the more, because she needs that to keep her mind active. It feels like it's um, like doing gymnastics at school or something. Um, like it, it makes you, it's, it kind of, it's very, it's nice for her brain to have more climbing. So she wants a bigger terrarium. Uh, well, um, I, I just wanted more climbing sticks. Okay. So I presume that's probably a bigger aquarium. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Whole house of them. Um, <laughs> I think that she's missing company of her own, as in other geckos. Now, I know she's a reptile and I know that they're not mammals and blah, blah, blah. However, I still think there is a thing that happens between geckos and she's missing that a bit. Um, it feels more like cats sometimes. Cats often have a, although they might not, they might be appearing to hit and, um, hiss and spit at their neighbors. There's actually, they seem to go out and have some sort of, they catch up on the local gossip almost when they go out. Yeah. So to humans, it looks like it's all a bit fraught. But actually, they do like to perambulate and pick up on bits of news, although they're quite happy. They don't necessarily want to share their territory with a load of other cats. And it feels a bit like that. I might have issues with other geckos, but I, but also it's part of this. There is some sort of need yeah. there as well. I mean, we can't, you know, we can't give our domesticated animals everything. So don't talk, feel, look <laughs> depressed and glum um, because, um, yeah. And then we've, we've got a, about an eight month old kitten, same age as Fran's cats. And um, she's taken a big liking. He's taken a big liking to Tan. And will often go in the room at night. Um, does that freak Tan out at all? Or does, he still, does she still feel safe? Um, I think she's a bit freaked out. I feel as if she, I know she hasn't got any fur to fluff herself up with. I don't know whether, but I feel like I'm making myself, um, I'm making myself bigger or I'm exuding don't think you're gonna have me like she's exuding a kind of um get lost sort of threat <laughs> or uh it, but she's getting used to it i feel like she's beginning to know that the cat can never actually touch her does that make sense is there glass yeah 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 i think she's beginning to trust that the cat can never touch her so she's getting more emboldened but I feel like she might go near the front of the glass but it's actually a kind of posturing rather than mm -hmm. hello I'm your mate <laughs> do you know what I mean it's part yes. of that um trying to be a bit scary so yeah I think she's slightly but not so that she's terrified or anything cool thank yeah. you um, and then just like another fear that I have is if we, we keep her in the cage quite a lot, 
Mm. And a lot, like I'm quite scared that she's going to dart away and run away somewhere. Mm. Um, I don't know if you'd be able to help alleviate that or am, am I, is my instincts correct? Like she would just, Yes, I think I think she would go. I think she would dart off. She's a. It is so funny because I wouldn't have known this about geckos. She's a hunter. She's a hunter, so she's going to get drawn by anything that moves. Ah. So she'll wait, 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 and then she just feels like a. I've you know she feels like a cat, like a Siamese cat or something. I feel very agile. I feel really quite intelligent. Uh, and because I'm a hunter, so I wait and then I vroom, like that. But I'm very, it, you know, it's this peripheral vision, the movement that is making me suddenly, it's almost like it's um, slightly automatic. Like I couldn't, I wouldn't almost be able to stop myself if yeah. there was a sudden movement. Um, yeah. Um, she's saying, to Chad I said have you got a message for Chad and she's saying he will have another friend like I think Chad you view her very much as your friend somehow uh, your special friend and um, she's saying you will have another friend and I think the friend is another animal friend I know you've got plenty of animals in your house but that's what she's saying to me so I don't really know what that means um, you will have you know there's somebody else that will be very special to you as well um, yeah that's just because she's trying to make sure we get another gecko for her to not play yeah, with yeah yeah probably <laughs> yeah uh i think i think she i feel like she's actually predicting the future a bit actually um yeah I think it's that she knows there's another. I know you've got lots of animals in your house, but it feels like one that's very special to Chad. That's like Chad's alone, or that Chad's ha Chad ha has in his bedroom or something. Yeah, uh, it feels like that. Yeah, and also like you can't see what species. <laughs> no, no, I don't know. Um, she says, you're very fascinated, Chad, by her toes. Is that right? Are they special yeah. grippy things or are you no, trying to figure out? They're crazy. They've got like, they, they got crazy. claws like these tiny little. Oh, could you lift it up near your camera? Because I, you disappeared off the. Yeah. Mm. Got... Sorry, I'm... Oh, look. Got little yeah. claws. Oh, they have like like retractable claws that go into his foot, and then like they come out, so he can like huh. find stuff. Huh. Yeah. And with sticky pads. And sticky. I was going to say I thought they were just like little sticky pads, but wow. Oh yes. He's also got a sticky pad on the bottom of his tail. Right there. Oh right. Oh, how interesting! Oh, thank you so much for letting us talk to ge um, Gecko, Tan, <laughs> and. Um, she doesn't feel massively worried that you've got her gender all wrong and the name all wrong. <laughs> <laughs> I think she's too bothered by that. Um, mostly she's bothered by her agility. So the more that she can come out and be agile, yeah, sorry, the better. Sorry, just arrived and I'm getting nervous. She's yeah, more yeah. worried about having a place where she can be agile. She would, yeah, she would like more opportunities to, okay. you know, do exciting gymnastic things. Okay, we found yeah. her the other day. We've got like a, a palm kind of plant in her terrarium, and she yeah. was upside down holding onto one of the stalks. Like, ah, right. So that's what she showed that she goes underneath the branch. Yeah. yeah. Okay, brilliant. So that kind of thing. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Uh, oh, the other thing she's telling me now, Chad, is because I, I mean, I've been thinking, why does she stay on Chad? Like, why doesn't she zoom off somewhere? Um, and this isn't the answer to that question, I don't think, but she said she can really hear or feel or something, your heartbeat, and she finds it quite fascinating. Like now, she can feel your pulse or your heartbeat or hear it. I don't know which, whether it's a vibrational thing or whether it's a hearing, but she, she finds that quite interesting, that she can hear this, dunk, dunk, you know. 
um ah oh, lovely thank you so much thank you <laughs> lovely to see you again yeah you too. <laughs> you too. Bye. take care bye. take care bye bye